go ahead and start with the insulation. Insulation in this building, uh, we put house wrap up and we put a two before wall. R12 insulation and sheetrocked it. The ceiling is blown in insulation, roughly 10 inches thick. And under the roof is insulation put in by the people that put the building up. Very well insulated. This room also has a electric heater in it that'll heat the room to about whatever temperature you like. What's the R factor on the insulation? R factor on the walls is R12. I imagine it's an R30 in the ceiling because it's roughly 10 to 12 inches thick. What temperature does the room maintain on the average? Uh, during the winter, I try to keep 55 degrees in here just to keep everything for condensation. You walk in, turn the heater up to 65, and it'll be 65 in less than 30 minutes. Okay, tell me about the electrical. Uh, there's 100 amp service in this building. Uh, this particular room has three 20 amp breakers in it, powering uh, 12 different outlets. There's no place in the room you can stand and be more than eight feet from an outlet anywhere, including the middle of the room. Um, tell me about the system here with the pipes, the white pipes. Uh, the white pipes are for a vacuum system to pick up wood dust. There's a centralized vacuum in the other room, but we are taking it but the pipes on the walls are staying up. Um, tell me about what stays in this room and what goes. Uh, we're leaving the cabinets in the southeast corner, the ones on the, uh, with the countertop on them and the wall, uh, cabinets hanging on the wall. All the tools and all of the tool hanging devices are leaving, correct? Correct. What's the approximate dimensions of this room? This room's roughly 26 feet deep, 27 feet wide. And you... Okay. Lo located in the shop on my electrical system, then when you shut off the uh, lights, all receptacles in this room are dead. That way if you accidentally leave something turned on, you don't have to worry about, did I unplug it or did it turn on? Everything in a shop shuts off with the lights. Car garage, tell me about this garage. Uh, the garage is roughly 24 feet wide, deep, 27 feet wide. Uh, two car door, two different doors. Uh, each door has its own garage door opener and each door also has a separate remote you can put in the vehicle. You can also open the doors by the, uh, just inside the man door when you walk in. Uh, the electrical breaker panel for this whole building is in the northwest corner, 100 amp service. Uh, everything in this room is GFI protected except for the garage door openers and uh, the outlet where the freezer is plugged in. What's going to stay in this room? Not a thing. Okay, so it's going to be cleaned out. This room will be totally cleaned out. doors. The hole in the ceiling? We have, uh, when we sheetrocked this room uh, where the garage is, there is no blown in insulation above the garage itself. Uh, we have fixed it. This hole we're looking at, or the spot we're looking at, is you can actually cut in uh, and put in a door because we made it large enough to, you can put stuff up above in the attic if you like. And you can also go up and insulate this room if you like. I have never seen ice stayed in here. You can bring drive a vehicle in. If it's zero outside, you walk out the next morning and all the ice is melted off the vehicle. So it stays pretty warm the way it is without the insulation. 